business visionaries are really very conventional about spending two things, their time and money. Since business people need to wear multiple hats. With handling multiple projects there comes a package of interruptions and distractions. With this also comes a huge challenge of time management and productivity. Hi, I am Ami Mandavia, founder of ImproX, the platform where we explore the science of developing a growth mindset, building productive habits, and what is required to live a healthy life. And if you're looking for tools, tips, and techniques that will turn around your productivity this year, this video is for you. In the last video, I shared with you three important hacks to upscale your productivity. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go through that video and then revisit this again. The link to the video is in the description. Every entrepreneur aggressively needs to prioritize, measure and optimize their time. Assuming you have never estimated ROI on time spent on activities, in this video, I am continuing to give some amazing hacks to get you doing all the quicker and maximize personal impact. So, fasten your seat belt, and let's straight dive into hack number 4. Hack number 4, nudge yourself on the right path. People have logical and natural reasoning frameworks. The intuitive capability is more computerized, meaning the individual depends on past encounters and the ability to follow through to complete the task. Research recommends that the environment and prompting and priming processes have a significant role. In this manner, rolling out a little improvement to how you follow through with something or the choices available can boost productivity. Utilize these tips to optimize your normal workday. Silence notifications on all your devices. Set a time slot to check on your emails or take a walk. Recognize unhealthy habits and break them down in incremental steps. Use any time management tool which helps you bring back your focus. It is important to keep you on the right track and it is your responsibility to do so. No one else is coming to do it for you. Hack number 5. Set up your boundaries clearly. Interruptions decline concentration and influence performance. Set up a do not disturb sign in a real sense and metaphorically by setting boundaries. In the first place, ponder the various interruptions influencing your work time. Assuming that you're at home, pets or relatives might believe you're promptly accessible, requiring explicit work from home time usage abilities. Similarly, clients or collaborators might accept you are reachable instantly at their whim. In spite of the fact that business people ought to be responsive, non-crises don't need an answer in under 30 minutes. On the other hand, if you utilize a business telephone or bring a unified communication system, set your status to occupied or do not disturb for 15 to 30 minutes all at once. Some services let you make a custom voice, message, or visit message. This will naturally send a voice or instant message to the individual attempting to contact you, telling them that you'll be back shortly. What's more, in the event that your work is time sensitive or your clients are time conscious, it's really smart to make reference to your normal response time in your agreements or meetings. Realizing that you'll answer within a predefined time period can bring ease to your working systems. It is highly recommended to group activities strategically over the course of your day. This is on the grounds that our mind's capability to function differently while making versus handling information. For example, assuming you're dealing with a marketing plan, don't attempt to hop from conceptualizing your substance advertising schedule or mission titles into investigating metrics. Set up similar activities and take a break prior to changing to a different direction. Hack number 6, explore and apply the 80-20 rule. The Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule, is to be more specific about your work. The fundamental thought is that 80% of your outcomes come from 20% of your inputs, all in all, 80% of the value in a day comes from 20% of your working hours. You need to learn to start identifying activities that matter the most and how can you prioritize them over others. While as entrepreneurs you enjoy reading and learning from successful entrepreneurs, it is also equally important to avoid falling into the trap of hero worship. Just because you an entrepreneur have been successful doesn't mean you are great at everything. 
Probably some trick or habits work well for them does not mean it is going to work for you. Experiment with various tools, techniques, strategies, planning approaches, and productivity management techniques, and keep measuring your results. Track down a blend of strategies best suits your work style and character. Do not hesitate for even a moment to work on new approaches in your rotation. ImproX is committed to helping you start, run and grow your small business. To stay on top of all the news impacting your small business, share and subscribe to our channel for all the latest tips and techniques to grow and flourish your business and yourself as an entrepreneur.